Hey, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Welcome to my home in Tamarindo, Costa Rica, and welcome to the opportunity to like, share, and comment on this video. I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, the part five of uh, this series is happening right now. Uh, the four great no's that we should consider not practicing. And uh, today's great no is this. There are no justified resentments. Folks, I have spoken on this issue on nauseam. It's forgiveness. There are no justified resentments. None. Zip, zilch, zero. You know that person that f borrowed 500 bucks off you and never paid you back? Forgive them. You know that significant other that dropped you just at the moment when you needed them the most? Get over it. Uh, you know that business partner that kind of screwed you to the wall and you didn't realize it until after it was done? Let it go. The reason that there are no justified resentments is not because of the other person. The reason is because of you. What you need to understand is that when you forgive somebody, you get rid of all that mental gunk inside of you. And you let it go. And the end result is you're lighter. You're freer. You're airier. You are. You have the ability at this point to think logically and to be happy and compassionate because you aren't holding on to any level of resentment. Do you honestly think that the resentment that you hold towards somebody else is making them feel bad? Like that person that borrowed the $500 off you and never paid it back because you're so resentful toward them. Do you think they actually give a hell? Do you think that significant other that dropped you when you needed them the most, you think they give a damn? You are holding on to poison that's only making you sick. That's the notion of non-forgiveness. Wayne Dyer said it best. Non-forgiving is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Uh, it, it's just not going to happen. So consequently, when I talk about this great no of, of no resentment, basically forgive everybody. Don't hold anything against anybody. Now, I, I did an episode... Uh, a week or two back on pragmatic forgiveness. I'm not suggesting that you continue to put yourself into a bad situation. I'm not, con I'm not suggesting that you get back into business with that business partner that screwed you. I'm not suggesting that you lend more money to the individual that didn't pay you back. But what I am suggesting you do is that for anything that they have done in the past, because you can't change the past, the end result is let it go. Forgiveness. Move on. And the end result is going to be you being freer. The past is holding you back. It has you shackled. And those chains of non-forgiveness are keeping you from moving forward. Break the chains. Break the bonds. Get rid of that, that level of gunkness that's inside of you that's not allowing you to move forward. Stop the resentment. Start forgiving people. Everybody, there is no, or I should say there are no, justified resentments. Understand that and move forward. I'm going to keep this short today because I have a bonus for you tomorrow. We're going to recap all four of them. But in the meantime, I'd like you to really ponder this point. Forgive everybody. Jot down on a sheet of paper the people that you despise the most, that have done something to you. Think about how long ago it's been. Think about what your resentment is doing to them. I guarantee you, it's nothing. Lose it. Bill Shocker. Thank you. See you tomorrow.